Yo, what is going on guys, it is Tech T here, and today we are going to be taking a look at a cool piece of software called WineVDM. So basically, with this program, you could run 16-bit applications on Windows 11 or a 64-bit install of Windows 10. And if you don't know, you can run 16-bit apps on a 32-bit Windows install with the Microsoft official add-on NTVDM, but it was removed in 64-bit installs due to compatibility issues. But what Microsoft didn't know is that they could have made an emulator. But third-party developers are genius. So a developer named OTIA128 designed a 16-bit emulator called OTVDM. And as you could see, the documentation and a lot of stuff is in Japanese. And later, the developer built WineVDM on top of OTVDM to create a English version of OTVDM. So with all that out of the way, let's get installing. So the very first thing that you need to do is head on over to the link in the description. Now scroll down and find the releases section and click on the latest version. And now you should have a zip file here. Click on that. And now there are two zip files here. OTVDM for old windows, which as the name suggests is for old windows or this is the standard zip file and we just want to download the zip file i mean the standard zip file not otvdm for old windows and we're gonna have to download the zip file by clicking on it and we have to save the file hit ok now we're gonna open the containing folder now we just want to extract the zip file somewhere in the desktop or any other location and yeah we don't have sound zip here so we're gonna open up the archive and get this little folder and yeah, I've already tested this once, so I'm gonna delete this folder, demonstrate it to you guys how to actually extract the folder. So I just wanna double click the zip file and copy this folder over to the, any location you want, anywhere in the PC, but I'm, I'm probably going with desktop. Now, here we have the OTVDM folder, and if we open up the folder, you definitely notice that there are two executables, otvdmw.exe and otvdm.exe. So if you open up a 16-bit app in the default OTVDM executable, it will open up a console log of what the software is doing. More on that later. Or if you open up the 16-bit app with OTVDMW, you'll be provided with an explorer window. So yeah, enough of blabbering, I'm just going to demonstrate this to you. So first off, we're going to start off by going to the properties. As you can see, we are running Windows 11, which means it's directly 64-bit because Microsoft removed 32-bit support on Windows 11. And also, the method I'm showing should also work on Windows 10's 64-bit installs as well. We're gonna go into the Windows 3.1 folder, and let's just pull up an app. And let's do Calculator. And you're going to be prompted with, and you're going to be prompted with this error. Like, try setting the compatibility mode to Windows 95 or whatever it is. And it will still not work. But instead, I'm going to run it with OTVDMW this time. So we're going to be double clicking and opening up OTVDMW. And... Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll briefly explain this. Because this is not a commonly known and recognized app. So, Windows thinks that this could be risky. But, of course, the code is open source. Which means you could see every single glance of what of what the app is doing so this is probably because it's the software is uncommon and it's not registered to the microsoft servers it's putting you this message but we're going to still click on more info and we're going to hit run anyway because this is not going to provide any security issues to you now we are provided with a file browser window and here we could choose any application we want so let's do let's do calculator open it up and now it's going to pull up the calculator window. Yes, it's taking a bit of time. And the application opened up with a fully Windows 9X like graphical user interface. And it doesn't matter the buttons on Windows 11 or even the rounded corners on Windows 11 or even the title boards and font. The program itself works just as how you'd expect it to. Like, yeah, we could do some 8 times 8 equals 64 minus 1 equals 63. So let's try another executable. We have Paintbrush, and we're gonna open it up with OTVDMW. Opening it up with the file browser is not only the way, you could also open it up with the drag and drop feature. But enough of blabbering, let's do some stuff. One eternity later. Yeah, 
it's been a while so let's save the project by going to file save or you could also just save as it's your choice and we're gonna save this as uh, tech trigger .bmp. tech or tech t .bmp. so we're gonna hit ok and it's what okay the win logo .bmp. we are not like actually gonna use this as a floppy image so this is just useless so we're gonna hit ok yep i'm gonna replace it and here we go so it should be in this little folder and we're gonna search up for wind logo ah uh, the explorer search sucks okay here we go we have wind logo you could even open up old bmp files on windows 11's photos app okay enough of otvdmw let's jump right into the otvdm executable and if you double click otvdm it run anyway a cmd window is gonna like appear and disappear in a split second because the only way to open up files in OTVDM is to drag and drop them. So, we're going to go to the Windows 3.1 folder. And we're going to drag and drop. And we're going to launch the Windows 1.0 Paint, just for fun. So, we're going to drag and drop. And you can see, it, it tells Open with OTVDM. And it opens up Paint with the console log of what the application is doing. And as you can see, the app is black and white because Windows 1.0 stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. But anyways, we're gonna write something. Writing. Two thousand years later. We're gonna save this as TT. Okay, and we're gonna save it. And we're gonna pull up a new project. And then we could go into file. And here is TT.msp. And we're gonna open that up. And as you can see, all of our work is saved. Yeah, we can just close that off. Nope, I don't want to. And this time, let's try Notepad. Notepad, drag and drop it on top of otvdm.exe. And yeah, it opens up Notepad with the console log with it. Yep, here we go. File, save. We're gonna save it as sub to t And yeah, we're gonna hit save. We just go into new. And then we could just press control O. What? It looks like the shortcuts will not work though. We're gonna hit file, open. And we have sub to tt.txt. Hit open and why the hell okay yeah it's not opening for some reason but still so this console log is really 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 useful especially when you want to solve some issues or just debug the entire program okay anyway we're gonna close that up with all of that let's try installing some good old calmira and it's basically an alternate shell to make windows 3.1 look like windows 98 or windows 95 and we also took out the application in the previous video and if you missed it i'll provide the link in the iPad. So we're gonna open up the installer which is in the downloads folder and just to show you we're gonna open it up without the emulator and see what happens and yeah we're provided with this error but instead if we tried with the emulator this time we're gonna be running it with OTVDM and this will install Calmira to do you wish to continue yes I do and it pulls up the installer just fine we're gonna hit next and agree to the license agreement so we hit yes to agree and we have the path and we have the title i'm not gonna categorize it so let's hit next okay now let's get installing install and that's it it's installed and as you can see it's pulling up shortcut and we're gonna be basically going to the uh, actual file path because for some weird reason the shortcut wouldn't work nope i wouldn't like to re read the readme file all right anyway so here we have the Kilmira executable all right anyway here we have the executable and if we run it normally again the same error hit ok so we're gonna be trying it with otvdm so and we're gonna be trying it with otvdmw this time yep and look at that it's actually opening and yeah it looks just as how we saw in our previous video it's just so similar and also this has a hilarious bug where the task board go go up and yeah we even have windows and then here we have task manager we're gonna pull up explorer window and kill it and yeah we got the task board back but yeah that's the hilarious bug still exists and there is no uh, desktop icons or something like that and yeah we're back into explorer Oops. quick come here so all right guys that's all for this amazing program and this video if you want to run 16 bit programs on 64 bit windows for whatever reason this is the best way to do it so i hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons for more videos like this. And also comment down below if you have any queries or any ideas for my future upcoming videos. 
as well. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.